Black Tiger is one of the most nightmarish creatures that either Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine will encounter during the events of the game Resident Evil. A massive spider with a habit of webbing up its foes, Black Tiger resides deep within the depths of the Spencer Mansion's underground passages. A former test subject that managed to escape the researcher's captivity, this eight-legged monstrosity, along with its brethren, are some of the creatures that you'd least like to see gripping the walls around the estate. The story of Black Tiger as we know it begins with the Spencer Mansion's researchers and their quest to develop ever more powerful bioorganic weapons. In the early days of Arclay's research with the T-Virus, it was determined that the virus only had around a 90% infection rate on normal humans. A number which failed to live up to the founder of the facility, Oswelly Spencer's, lofty goals of creating a specialty virus that could easily wipe out the entire population. So, in an attempt to make Spencer's wishes a reality, the Arclay researchers began working on ways to bridge this 10% gap. Namely, by creating B.O.W.s that could kill anyone who happened to be immune to the virus. And one of the first types of B.O.W.s that they would work on would be what they would refer to as web spinners. The researchers didn't quite know the depths of what the T-Virus would do within the bodies of specific animals, and several tests were conducted with various creatures to see how they would perform as bioweapons, with one of the creatures being selected for testing being a spider. Several spiders would be injected with the T-Virus for experimentation, with the results being somewhat unimpressive to the researchers. These infected spiders would grow to massive sizes, and with their innate ability to cling to walls, it made them quite versatile as well. However, with this transformation also came several rather unexpected side effects. As a result of the T-Virus, web spinners no longer relied on the webs for which they were so named, instead opting to use their acidic venom to capture their prey. These new abilities made the web spinners impressive weapons, but as tests with these creatures continued, it became all too apparent that they just couldn't be controlled. And so, research into these arachnids would eventually be scrapped in pursuit of more manageable BOWs. Many web spinners would be disposed of as failures, with several being held for further research should it be necessary. Unfortunately for the researchers, however, as they attempted to dispose of the failed spider experiments, one of them would escape, making its way deep into the underground passages of the facility where it would begin to establish its own domain. In the depths of these passages, this web spinner would begin to mutate. Not only would it grow to be even larger than its fellow web spinners, but it would also regain the ability to create a web and nest. Several researchers would attempt to retrieve this escaped subject, only to be attacked. The survivors of these encounters recounting that it had developed black markings on its body leading them to dub this new mutant arachnid, Black Tiger. Black Tiger and the other escaped web spinners would make the underground passages a truly deadly place to tread. The poison secreted from their fangs was lethal, and were you to get caught in Black Tiger's web, it was unlikely that you'd be making it out of the tunnels alive. Black Tiger and the other enlarged spiders are a fascinating remnant from the early days of the Arclay Laboratory, 
primitive experiments that were abandoned by the researchers, left in no-go zones to be feared as boogeymen thanks to their own inadequate security measures. And while it may be far away from the hustle and bustle of the actual mansion, should you take a trip into Black Tiger's domain, it will do everything in its power to make sure you serve as its next meal.